Welcome back to the Pixel Pub. Today we're unboxing what I think is the best value in gaming and streaming PCs right now, the Intel Arc B580. This is Intel's latest mid-range GPU, a solid gaming performer, but most importantly, an absolute beast for content creators. Thanks to its efficient AV1 encoding, it is one of the best cards for video editing and streaming, at least streaming to YouTube. Hurry up, Twitch. And at least for the amount of money that it costs. If you can get this card at its MSRP of 249, it absolutely can't be beat. This Intel reference card comes in some fantastic packaging. It looks great and has some really cool extras. We'll actually take a closer look at this origami kit here in just a minute. Here it is though, the Intel Arc B580. Sleek, black, very clean design. Looks like something that Batman would be putting in his PC if he needed to stream some Arkham Knight. It's got dual fans, a sturdy aluminum heatsink, and 12 gigabytes of DDR6 VRAM. Yes, 12 gigabytes for a $250 GPU. That is plenty of memory for some of those high resolution textures, video rendering, and the multitasking that all of you streamers do. If you're still using H.264 for streaming, this is like choosing a dial-up connection when fiber exists. With AV1, streams look sharper at lower bit rates, which means better quality for your viewers and less stress on your network. <laughs> as far as gaming performance, the Arc B580 is targeting that 1080p and entry level 1440p performance. If you're streaming at the same time though, I wouldn't plan on getting much 1440p done unless it's in some of the absolute easiest to run games. Most benchmarks have the B580 competing with and sometimes outperforming the RTX 4060. For content creators though, DaVinci Resolve Studio is where this card really flexes. Intel has optimized the Arc series for GPU accelerated effects, that AV1 encoding, and very smooth playback. And after some recent driver updates, it's performing even better. And before you ask, yes, Premiere Pro and After Effects also have been seeing improvements, especially when using Intel's hypercompute technology. Intel is actually competing. I'm really excited to see what Intel can continue doing as AMD and Nvidia continue not doing what they're doing. <laughs> now, what you've all been waiting for, as if this cutting edge GPU wasn't enough, Intel included this a DIY origami GPU because nothing says serious PC hardware like some arts and crafts. This is honestly probably more complicated than setting up a dual PC streaming rig. All right, I have built entire PCs from scratch. I have installed custom water cooling loops, hard drive, RAID arrays, even recovered some bent motherboard pins. But this, this is something different. <laughs> So who should be buying the Intel Arc B580? If you're a YouTube streamer or video editor, absolutely. The AV1 encoding alone makes this a no brainer if you can find it for 249. If you're gaming at 1080p or entry level 1440p, this card delivers some really solid performance, often competing with the RTX 4060. Again, for those budget gaming builds, this is gonna be an amazing card. And this is also just for the, those experimental tech people. If you don't mind the occasional driver updates, this GPU is an absolute steal for this price. If you're still waiting for Twitch to enable that AV1 streaming though, well, let me know what you wanna drink because you might be waiting for a while. <laughs> Either way, just like that, we have a second GPU out of this box. Now I just need a cardboard power supply and motherboard and, and I'll have a full Intel Arc cardboard system. Honestly, still probably more functional than some pre-built PCs that I've seen. In the end, it wasn't just about the GPU we unboxed, but about the one that we folded along the way. <laughs> the Intel Arc B580 is a fantastic looking graphics card and I'm really excited to see what it can do. 
Until next time, keep creating, keep streaming, and cheers from the Pixel Pub.